Hey everyone, I have a stash scrapbooking kit that I put together. Um, this year I want to do, one of my goals is to do more scrapbooking. Um, I do, I've done some in January, but not much. Uh, life's been kind of hectic. But I put this kit together for February. I've never done a stash kit before, so I don't know how much stuff I'm going to need or not need or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to show you what I put together. I'm going to show you the papers first. Alright, the main thing I'm using is this paper pad by uh, Colorbook. It's one of the pads from Walmart. It's a lot of jewel toned papers and real gorgeous papers. A lot of them are real bright and bold. Just flip through it real quick for you. So this is the paper pad. I've had this for quite some time couple years easily. I think there's only one piece of paper missing for it and it's called Veranda and I know they still have this at Walmart because I've seen it there. And then I pulled a few papers from my actual stash that to match up and I'll open it up to this page because this has all the main colors. Um, I don't know if some of these are going to work. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the first one I have here, these and these papers are old. Um, a lot of them I got in a rack from Gina Beth. Um, and then some of them I got from uh, scrapbook.com and some of them I've had. Um, this one is Cosmo Cricket. And uh, I believe Clementine is the collection of the papers called uh, Phoebe. And then there's this one here, which is co another Cosmo Cricket. Um, from Clementine, that's Olivia. This is just a paper from, um, oh, what is that place called? Oriental Trading. I got a whole set of them. And then we've got another Cosmo Cricut. And this one is from Haunted, and it's called Ominous. This is the other side, which I won't be using. I just pulled it for this side because of the orangey red. And then October Afternoon, New Apron. And then we have uh, Fun in the Sun. This is called Easy Breezy. And it's by Echo Park. And then we have another Echo Park, the Here and Now collection. It's called Border Strips. This is the side that I'm planning on using, but this is what's on the other side. I might cut out some of those cameras. I don't know yet. I have another sheet of this paper. And then we have Lime Twist uh, by My Mind's Eye. And either side of this one may or may not work. But I, I picked it out for this this side here because of the blues and greens. And then there's this one here, which is a uh, basic gray Lauderdale collection, and it's called Coastline, or other way around, Coastline, Lauderdale, I don't know. And then the last one here is another Cosmo Cricut. It's, um, I believe it's the Upcycle collection, and it's called Remake. So there's that paper. Um, and then I pulled out card stocks. These are eight and a half by eleven card stocks. Most of them are by Recollections or Doris. I think they're all by Recollections or Doris actually. And I got two white, two black, two different shades of brown, more of a purpley brown, and then a chocolate brown. And then there's a couple of the burgundy color, which you can see there. Hopefully you can see that it matches quite well. And then I pulled out an orange and a yellow. There's, like I said, lots of jewel tones in this. And then I pulled out a, a deep green and a light green. And then there's two different shades of blue. They don't look all that different, but they are. So those are the papers. And the, most of the cardstock, the white and black I'll probably use for matting. But the colored cardstock I pulled out to use with this Cricut cartridge. It's called Small Talk Tags and Frames. And I'm going to use my Cricut to cut out some embellishments. It's got words and little icons, frames, all sorts of frames, arrows, um, like tags, and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm going to print out a bunch of these ones here, the little tags there. So the cardstock is meant to use with this cartridge. And uh, like I said, it is called the Cricut Small Talk Frames and Tags. It's one of the, the smaller size. I don't have the universal overlay, 
<clears throat> because I only have two of these size cartridges, so I haven't bought the overlay, but I'm sure I'll be able to make it work without it. Alright, let me see if I can move some of these papers out of the way. Alright, now for embellishments. First, let's do alpha stickers that I pulled out. Um, I pulled out three packs of thickers, and I only buy my thickers when they're on clearance. I don't pay full price for them, so some of these are like very old. Um, so we have Dear Lizzie, and this one's called Treasure, and it's a, a light tealy blue color, which you can't really see all that well. And then, again, this is the same exact thing. It's just a different color. It's like a pinky, corally color. I don't know if this one's going to work, um, but I, I got these ones at TJ Maxx for $1.49. And then this one, I don't know what it's called because the thing is covered, but I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're not sticky anymore, but most stickers are not all that sticky anyways, which is why I don't pay the ridiculous amount of money for them. And then for smaller alphas, I have this, um, it's, uh, Corinne stickers, uh, by SEI, and I pulled out this, these, this little tiny alpha, which I always cut them down. I don't use the great, I don't use them real tall. I don't understand why they're that tall. And then this is Studio 112. These are from Joann's. They're only a dollar a pack. Um, there's just 160 alphas and then I have a jelly bean soup which is a mini alpha and it's birthday bisque so there's those ones um, I might pull out more alphas I don't know and then I have some embellishments that I've used some of them in my budget scrapbooking these are from Walmart they actually go with this paper pad so there's some chipboard shapes and words some more just uh, chipboard shapes. It's just the one sheet. I only use one from this. And then there is cardstock stickers. I only paid 10 cents for those. And then another thing of cardstock stickers. Again, I only paid 10 cents for those. And then I have this random packet. I don't know where it came from. I, I honestly have no idea. But it's a Pink Paisley Nantucket collection. And they're just hexagon um, chipboard. But the browns and the teals and the orangey yellows they match up really good the colors so those are the big embellishment packs and then I've got let's see the smaller ones uh, this is a thing of um, they're actually I believe they're yeah they're brads but again it's from the Walmart that matches the rest of the collection I used one in my previous kit that I was working on and then I have a little pack of flowers from Walmart they're almost gone but I figured the orange flowers I might be able to use. Um, I have a layout plan that's about summer. And this the orange and yellows match pretty okay. So I might see if I can make that work. And then I have um, Life's Little Occasions die cut labels. And like this the yellow orangey colors. I don't know if these are going to work. But I'm going to give it a shot. I've had these in my stash forever. I got them from Scrapbook for like 20 cents. And then I have this. It's a Cakewalk uh, Flower Sack by October Afternoon. It's a die cut shapes. Uh, doesn't really say how many, but these are the different shapes that are in there. And the greens and the, it doesn't look like it on camera, but the greens and the reds, they match pretty well with the papers. And I've never used any of those. I have a thing of basic gray enamel dots, and I'm only going to be using these reddish pinky ones. I've got some spare parts brads. I want to get these finished up. I used a ton of them in my last little kit that I put together, so I'll hopefully get those used up. And then I have two packs of enamel dots. These are the Recollections, the dollar from Michaels. I've got the orange, yellow, and green. And then the green and the purple. Uh, the purple um, may not match. It all depends, really. And then I have two of these things from Cloud9. I've got these teal rain splat thingies. And then those are called ra splat rain dots. And then these are just rain dots. And you're not going to be able to see those. They're just little epoxy dots and then I have a thing of rub-ons from basic gray it's actually a holiday themed rub-on the packaging is not correct as you can see um, they're holiday themed but some of the oranges and yellows and browns and teals should work depending I don't have any specific pictures or time of year that I'm going to be doing I don't really scrapbook like that I just see a picture and I scrapbook it and then I have this thing of Brad's. It's uh, the Destination Collection from... Oh, where's the packaging? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Oh, it's by Colorbook. Um, some of them 
I, I do have some travel photos, but the reds and the teals, and then there's like the yellows should match pretty well. And then I pulled out a couple washi tapes. I, I mean, I have a, a, a buttload of washi tapes, but these are the ones that I grabbed. So there's just a teal with arrows, with red and orange and yellow arrows. And then there's a greeny teal, like thin stripe. And then this one here is like citrusy colors, the yellows and oranges and greens. And then this is an alphabet with, that's like the mustardy, orangey, yellow color. And then just a yellow stripe. So that is the kit that I put together. I have a tray here. It's just a, I think it's from Family Dollar. Yeah, Family Dollar. And um, I'm going to use this to store my embellishments because the last kit that I did, I had problems with keeping everything organized. So I'm going to try to use this little tray and put my um, die cut pieces in there. Like I'll open those up and put them in the different trays and then like these stickers and stuff I'll pull out and take the adhesive off of them and put them in this tray and that's how I'm going to organize everything. Um, I am going to film all the layouts that I do with this whole kit. There's so much stuff on my tabletop right now. Um, so you'll see all the, the processes and stuff like that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!